Hello everyone, this um, video is about the energy stored in a capacitor. Now, here's your capacitor, represented like this, and if we were to connect it um, to a power supply, that V, potential drop V, you will get a separation of charge. And this separation of charge, when you will find that this will become charge or split, this separation of charge um, will will take electrical energy. Will we'll take energy to do it. Now, some of the equations for electrical energy are energy. Electrical energy is equal to I V T. That's one, so electrical energy equals current time voltage times time. Another one is electrical energy is equal to power times time. IV is power. They're all the same, really. And another one is electrical energy is equal to charge um, times voltage, which is um, Q times V. And charge um, is simply equal to Q is equal to it. So current is, is the rate of flow of charge. So they're all, all the same equations. So the energy stored, um, or if you like, all the work done, is Q times V. But as you are charging the capacitor, it you it isn't a simple process of a steady Q and a steady V. What you will find out is is that rather than get the equation work equals Q V, because it is charging gradually and from the equation Q is equal to capacitance times voltage you find that the charge is proportional to voltage um, what you'll find you'll get is if you plot a voltage against charge you'll find that there's a as the as the potential across the capacitor increases um, so does the charge until the potential cross of capacitor V is equal to the potential cross of S of flux. Maybe if that's 12 volts, eventually that will get to 12 volts. Okay, so so there you go. This is a, a graph of voltage against charge. So therefore, you will find the work done is the area under the graph here. That is the work, and therefore the work is by the uh, area is a half the base times the height. So therefore, the work or the energy is equal to um, half of the charge times the voltage. And that is um, one of the energy equations. Now there are other energy equations. I'll give us give us a little bit of space related to capacitors and see what we get just by some simple substitutions. So if work equals QV and Q equals C V we can substitute C V into there to give us work is equal to a half times Q, which is C V times V, which is equal to a half C V squared. Or we can use this equation again and we can write it as the definition of capacitance. Um, or oh, not a definition of capacitance, we'll find that the voltage, the potential is equal to Q over C. So we can rewrite this one here as work is equal to half Q multiplied by V, and V is Q over C, so times Q over C. So the other equation would be equal to W is equal to a half. Um, Q squared, a little bit over 2C. So the equations we have are there's that one, we have this one here, um, we have, let's call it, this one here is 2, we've got energy, and this one here is 3. So these are all um, energies, equations rather. Um, relating to the energy um, stored in a capacitor.